Turning now to the firefight up north as crews work to gain control of two growing wildfires burning near Flagstaff. Smoke from those fires can be seen from space. The ISS captured this video today as it orbited Earth. You can see large plumes of smoke from the pipeline fire taking over the landscape. On the ground, the flames have spread to more than 20,000 acres. An incident team from California is taking over command as more than 250 firefighters work to build a strong perimeter. About seven miles northeast of Doney Park, the Haywood Fire, Haywire Fire has burned 4,000 acres. There are still evacuation orders in place for several neighborhoods, and several roads remain closed tonight, including a portion of 80, US 89. And Team Tolls Michael Doudna has been in the fire zone covering this developing story all week long. Michael, there's some good news, though, with some evacuation orders being lifted. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, conditions have steadily improved throughout the last 24 hours because, I mean, if we go back to Sunday and Monday, well, it was a, a feeling of stress from a lot of people because of the high winds, the fire and the smoke. But people I talked to today, well, the common word they had was relief. And yes, the fire is still burning, but conditions improved to the point that firefighters could fight this on multiple fronts and some folks could go home. After 48 hours of severe fire weather and uncertainty. They were asking door to door, are you leaving, are you staying? Tuesday. Relief, relief. Brought a much needed break. You're waking up, not as much smoke, the wind's not as bad. We actually have air support now, so that's a huge relief. See, as these winds calmed down, so did the fire. And it made a difference. The big difference. Big difference of what we're getting any reports from the field, people coming in saying it's it's a, a third of what it was yesterday. And the calmer fire gave firefighters a chance to fight back and gave some folks a chance to return home. Folks like Carolyn Ramsey. There's no place like home and it's a relief to know that my daughter's house was spared and so was mine and all my neighbors. So far, fire officials say they've only lost one home in a fire that has burned more than 20,000 acres. With more favorable weather forecast for later this week, firefighters are optimistic that they can limit further damage. So hopefully uh, with the resources we have, the aircraft in the air today, uh, we can get a handle on this thing pretty quick. It's some much needed good news, providing relief after 48 hours of uncertainty and wondering what may happen at home. It alleviated a lot of that tension and stress of the unknowing. Is it going to change? Is it going to come back? Is it, are they going to put it out? Those type of questions. So I feel good now. <laughs> And guys, although conditions are improving, this fire still does pose a very real threat, especially if conditions change unexpectedly. And even after this fire is eventually put out, well, the threat won't end. Coconino County uh, really made it clear that the flooding risk from both the tunnel fire from two months ago and the pipeline fire will likely lead to some major flooding during monsoon season. So they're recommending people to look into protecting themselves ahead of time, maybe look into flood insurance because, well, even after the fire is put out, there will still be some concerns left to play out uh, throughout this summer. We're live just outside the Flagstaff. Michael Doudna, 12 News. Michael, thanks.